You guys are watching my videos so fast that it seems like I will need to make some more. At least that way everybody can get like a minute. I mean I thought people's attention is about conspiracy theories about... About you know what. We do not speak his name. <laughs> or the other third of the internet is watching the white trash Game of Thrones. I've been doing this 20 years, never even been bit. Ah. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing better during quarantine than to play with big pussies. <laughs> and then the last part of the internet is curious how the rest is is wiping their butts. So just like the booty, then. If you guys wonder how I wipe it, well, because of the gravity, I do a handstand. <laughs> I'm standing on my hands and I will throw up a wet towel and then just a whoosh <laughs> let's just start today's topic <laughs> I would bet that the method that I'm going to show you today is one of the cheapest methods to take videos like this or like this and being the cheapest it means that it's going to be the cheapest if you already have your camera and your lights because if you have those two things all you need is a 53 cent carton paper and basically you're ready to rumble. I did this in my previous video and the result was so acceptable that I thought I would explain how am I professional with only butterflies in my pocket. Okay, as I said previously, I will not use a lot of tools. I will use the lights, Fovitech Studio Pro lights. These are, two of these are like 70 bucks. I will leave a link in the description. I will need a table. I will also need this white paper that I was talking about. And of course, you will need a camera. And yes, I know what's your biggest question right now. Why do I have this in my living room? But uh, let me answer that question in my next video. Right now, let's focus on the picture. You will need something like a five gallon bottle that will support your carton. After that, make sure that the paper is not moving around. Also make sure that the lights are perpendicular to the object and find a place where to place your camera. Last thing is to fix your white balance. And basically that's it. I adjusted a bit the natural light um, and I adjusted the lights a bit. Because when you're recording you don't want to have any shadows like there or the other side so you want this light to come from the top of the object but since I don't have lights like that um, this is the best I can do or I could tape this light to the ceiling but we're not going to do that right now all the shadows that you can see on the paper can be removed in post so I don't really worry about it if you recorded a video then just save a screenshot out of it then add a new white color mat that you will need to drag under the picture From here, all you need to do is to cut out your object, fix the edges to fade out, and then if you need, you can get in here and you can fix the whites. So here are some random objects that I filmed. If you have a taller object, like a pineapple, the good thing with this method is that we can be a bit cheapo, we can raise the camera, focus, and if the object is still too tall, you can just raise it a bit, put it on your leg, and make sure that the object is in focus. And then the angle will be different, but that's all good, it's creativity. And I know what is everybody's biggest question. Can I use a toilet paper as a background? Well, let's try it. If I place the toilet paper, Put another small object on it, I take the picture, I pull back the whites, and voila! Well, probably that's the reason why everybody's buying toilet paper. If you guys did not like this video, well, probably next time I will post something better. But just do not lose each other at the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Instead of swiping right, just click on subscribe. And that's how you pay a YouTuber for a free content. Well, thanks, and see you in the next one. Ciao! Shh.